Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this super do bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And I have similar earrings to this bracelet and I'll link them at the eye icon to see. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with a list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of these beautiful two hole beads that are super dual beads or twin beads depending on the ma manufacturer. You could use both, whatever you have in your stash. Here I use 11 o seed beads to attach my clasp and my jump ring and uh, you could use 10 o seed beads. It doesn't matter that much. And here I use a clasp and uh, this is a jump ring. This is size D Nemo beading thread, nylon thread. And uh, you could use other beading thread of your choice with similar size. Here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and I use them only to go through the difficult beads. They are not obligatory. If you don't have them, don't worry. And here um, I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, and in my first step, guys, I'm picking up three of these beautiful purple beads. Okay, I have them here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down and I will leave a tail here. Let's say this tail to be 10 inches, about 10 inches because I want to finish my bracelet with it at the end. Okay, now I will arrange my beads like this. And as I'm exiting from this hole, I will go through the other empty hole of my last bead. Okay, and I'm holding this tail thread. Okay, then what I need is one more of these beautiful purple beads. And I'm going through the following hole, through the following empty hole. Okay, now guys, I have this. And what I want to do is go back through all of those three beads in this direction. If you can't do this in one movement, do it in two movements. Okay, now I have this. I have the center of my element. Then I need to take a white bead, sliding it down, okay, like this. Then, as I'm exiting from this hole, I'm going changing directions and going from the outside to the inside of my work, okay, like this and like this. And I take one white bead. I go through the following purple, just like this, and I pull. Okay, in my next step, I take just one white bead. I will surround now my purple beads with whites. Okay, I'm going like this, and from the empty hole, from the this hole to the other hole which is empty at this stage, okay, like this and like this. Then I take one bead and I go here in my next white, okay. Then what I do is that I go in the other direction, repositioning my thread, okay. Again, I want to go through three beads. But if I can't do this in one movement, I'm doing it in two. Okay, now I have this. Now, guys, what I want to do is take one white bead, 
slide it down like this then i go through its empty hole and through all of my beads in this direction i'm doing this repositioning all the time this is because i'm using one needle technique if you use two needle techniques you could do without the repositioning but now i'm showing you this way okay now i'm exiting through this hole and i'm going through the other empty hole of the same bead and i need one white i go here back through all of those beads okay like this take one white slide it down Turn it in this direction and now what I want to do is to form the edge of my work and I'm doing this by sliding down one more bead here then going through its empty hole and through all of those beads in this direction go as far as you can in one movement okay like this I'm doing this thread repositioning all the time and in this way I'm reinforcing as well. Okay, and now what I want to do is go through this white bead, okay, like this, take one white, go through this one another white go through this one then again thread repositioning i can't do without it And my goal is to exit here at the edge where I need to add just one bead, okay? Then again, I go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay? Now guys, I'm sticking this needle in this mat and here what I want to do is uh, finish my work from this side and i will put here a needle at this thread and i'll be back to tell you how to do this okay and i put this needle uh, here at the shorter side and what i want to do here is um, at my clasp okay and in order to do this, again, I will make some repositioning of my thread. And I want to exit through this hole here. And what I want to take are three seed beads, my clasp, and then again three more of these beautiful seed beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going again through this twin bead. And what I want to do after that is make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm making a knot by making here a loop. And I'm going through this loop once. And then I'm going second time. And I pull. 
and then what I do is that I go through the following beat and um, you could do more and more notes if you want but when you do your last note go through the following C beat and cut your thread okay your first element and your clasp is attached now and now I'm going to show you how to continue okay and as I'm exiting from this beat I want to reposition my thread because I want it to go from this neighbor beat and in order to do this I'm going here in this direction through some beats okay then I go here and my goal is to exit through this bit okay now here I'm at the right place where I'm going to start my next element and I'm starting it now I'm taking one of those beautiful purple beads then I go through its empty hole I'm going through one of these holes and then through the other one then I take one more purple and go here through the following bead then what I do is that I go again in this direction reaching again the newly added purple beads here I need one white bead I'm sliding it down like this and I'm going through its empty hole in the other direction so I'm attaching it like this then here what I need is one more white bead and I just finished this row then again in this direction exit out of this white take one white slide it down go back again through this white in the other direction so zigzagging like this and like this take one purple and go here okay now I go through these two white beads in this direction and my goal is to reposition like this then through the white back take one white go here one purple go in the next one and here I will form the edge of my work slide this bead down take one more white slide it down as well but this time turn it in that direction then go back here again the goal is repositioning then even further through this white go back here one white go in the purple one more white bead go here like this then through all of those beads in this direction repositioning one more repositioning okay then through the white 
and add the last bit from this row. And you see now where I'm exiting here and my goal is to exit here. That is why I will go back in this direction and then through all of those bits aiming for this one here. Okay? And from here on, I will start my next element. Okay, guys, and I want to show you one more time. Take one purple bead, slide it down. Then go through its empty hole. Like this. One more purple. Go here. Okay. Then it's time here to add one white bead. One more purple, slide it. Again, one purple. Slide it like this, but this time turn it in this direction and attach it here okay then in my next step i'm going again in this direction repositioning a white one slide it down go back through the empty hole of the same white okay like this and like this another white go here then through the next tree a white one slide it down Go back here. Then come up here. Then take two whites. Slide those down. The inner white is in this direction and the outer white is in that direction. I'm just following the scheme. And everything comes to mind how I should do this. If it doesn't come naturally to you, just follow those steps that I'm showing. And after the second or the third time, you will see that you will be able to make it by yourself. If not, just rewind the video. See how I'm doing this and repeat it. Okay, and now this is the last one that I'm adding here. And you know that I need some repositioning in order to go where I would like to. And this is how I'm repositioning to go out of this last hole of this row. And after that, I repeat this. Imagine that you are here. And you're always repeating this step and this step. And when you have bracelet that's long enough, I will be back and tell you how to finish it in a while. Okay, guys, and I, as I continued adding more and more elements, the same way I showed you, this is what I have. And I needed to add some thread at one point of making my bracelet. And I have a lot of tutorials where I show how to add more thread.
And if you don't know how to do this, just write me in the comments and I'll give you a link to where I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm here at the end of my work. And uh, what I want to do is attach my jump ring here to finish my bracelet. And I'm doing it by picking up six of these beautiful, beautiful seed beads. Okay, I have six beads here. Six of them. Then I take this jump ring. And as I'm exiting from this hole, I'm going through the other hole of this bead. And here I'm going to attach and reinforce my work at the end in order to be able to finish it. Okay, here, if you've been too many times through those beads, what you need to do is take your pliers. At this step, I think I could do without pliers, but now I prefer to use them to be faster. Okay. Then I'm going to reinforce one more time. And you could go also two or three times, as many times as you can, through those beads here to make them stay in a better shape and to be really really strong okay and now i'm going to make a knot here and cut my thread and i'm making a loop i'm going twice through the loop i've made i'm pulling then i might repeat this knot several more times just like this and when i'm ready i go through the next seed bead cut my thread as close as possible both to my work and you could use zippers here if you don't want your thread to show okay and now guys my bracelet is ready my diamond shaped super duo bracelet is ready okay guys and now my super duo beaded bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me